Yo, what's up guys? This video is gonna get me in trouble. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. I'm recording it, you know, just so I can edit it and see how I feel. You guys know how producers are gatekeepers. You know how like when they find something out, they just don't want anybody else to know. I can assure you that this is like the top tier gate kept information. I have gotten a lot of people mad at me for sharing this information. I have to kind of remind myself of the fact that I kind of got into music with an anti gatekeeping mindset. You know, I'm trying to be like the music Robin Hood, you know, I'm trying to just take this information, give it back out to the public, let everybody get their bag and help people, <laughs> you know? So we are going to be going over how to do the waveforms on your landing pages, like Cymatics, like Producer Grind and all of these big companies. Hopefully I end up posting this video. If not, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. There are some prerequisites before you get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what those are. One, you have to have a Shopify page. Shopify is how all of these producers sell their sample packs. And two, you're going to need the Shopify app gem pages. Again, I don't know what it is about producers gatekeeping, like everything that has to do with e-commerce, but gem pages is the specific landing page building app within Shopify that all of these big companies use. Not even the big companies, just like literally every producer like gem pages is the number one landing page app i'm not affiliated with them this is just what everybody uses now we have the prerequisites out of the way let's go ahead and get into how it's done so i'm going to obviously be showing you guys the code and stuff for this but um i will have the code in the description it will probably be like a maybe like a text document download or a dropbox i don't really know but either way um all of the code for this will be accessible in the description one more thing that i really want to quickly touch on if you are another producer who knows how to do this please just share it we just need to put an end to the gatekeeping like we don't need more of it if you know how these are done if you know a better way on how these are done a faster way anything make your own video follow it up let everybody know i've also been told by like a lot of people that this is like super super basic web design if this is like some hidden mythic knowledge for a producer this is like first grade for a web designer it's called like wavesurfer.js or something like that it's some code that's like super super basic we're producers we know fl studio and how to to not go outside. We don't know web design. All right, so this is not gonna be a tutorial on how to make a gem pages page. So you have your gem pages page laid out. What you're gonna do is go ahead to the left side of the screen, scroll pretty much all the way down until you find the custom code box. Click it, you're gonna drag it in, put it into your landing page. I'm not gonna use this one specifically because I already have this laid out. We're gonna be going over two different kinds of waveforms. One is the master preview file at the top of the page, and the other are these super simple audio players that people like Cymatics used to preview their audio. So yeah, we have two code boxes at the top of our page. The top code box, we're gonna go ahead and click on it. We're gonna click edit code. Within your gem pages code boxes, you have HTML, CSS, and script. Don't worry, this is just copy and paste. So we have the HTML, which you're gonna copy from the link in the description. We have CSS, which again, you're gonna copy. And then we have script, which you're gonna copy. Very easy, nothing to worry about, nothing to be confused about. That's box number one. Box number two, right below it, we're gonna go ahead and edit the code. This box only has HTML. We're gonna go ahead and just paste in this code. Now there are obviously things that you're going to want to customize. So let's go ahead and go over that. When you wanna customize the wave surfer color and the height, you're gonna go ahead to these lines right here. You're gonna go to the script box. You're gonna go to wave color and wave progress color. The wave color is going to be like the pre color and the progress color is going to be, you know, when it's scrolling through whatever color you choose. When you're doing this, literally just go ahead and, you know, go to like color picker and then choose whatever color you like. Go to the hex code, copy it, and then move over here and just paste it in right here. Very easy. That is customization number one. And then customization number two is whatever actual audio you're going to be playing. So the second code box is how you're going to choose what audio you want to play. So there's there's very simple steps to do this. You're gonna go to your Shopify admin. You're gonna go to the left side of the screen where it says content. You're gonna go to files, and this is where you're gonna upload your master preview file. This is also how you're gonna upload any part of the preview audios that go on your page, your 808s, your hi-hats, whatever you're previewing. It's all gonna go into here. So basically, this is the preview audio that I used for my kit. You're just gonna go ahead and go all the way to the right and click copy link, very easy. Go ahead to this bottom code box, click edit code, and where it says audio URL. You're going to go within the quotations and just click control V to paste the audio preview. Yeah, that's how you change the audio previews. That's very easy. I want to note on one thing that I forgot to mention, but if you're clicking on the preview page to kind of like see how your audio 
form looks on the page. It's not going to show up. I don't know what it is about this code, but you have to actually fully publish the page. When you want to see the audio code, make sure you're actually publishing the page. Now we're going to go ahead and go over the individual file previews that Cymatics and everybody else does because it's, it's good and it's dope. So I'm not going to go over like any fancy visual customization, but typically you kind of want to put it in like a box to make it feel like it's like compartmentalized. I think that's a word. Again, we're doing the same thing. It's custom code, except this time it is so much easier. This is the code. Like this is it. There's, there's nothing else here. This is the copy and paste code. And then when you want to go ahead and pick your audios, same thing. You're going to upload your individual files within the kit. You're going to click copy link. You're going to go ahead here, edit code within the quotations. You're just going to go to this little line here that says source and change the URL to whatever it is that you're playing. To actually title the file, typically in a lot of other audio waveforms, you have to do the title within the code, which is really annoying. And that's why I like this code so much because you don't have to do that. All you have to do is go to gem pages and get a regular text block. This is my text block right here. It's font size 12 with the font pop-ins. It's clean. It's easy to read and you just put it right below the code box. And that's how it's going to display whatever audio file that you're previewing. If you go ahead and preview the live page, as you can see, I could scroll through. I can click pause. I can click play. If I scroll down to here, these are the other audio boxes. Very easy. They work. They are displaying what I want them to display. All right, before this video ends, shameless plug one, if you're interested in alternative rock production by any means, actually this preview page right here that I showed you how I made, you guys can go ahead and click the link in the description. It will be the first link. You guys can go ahead and get some free alternative rock samples. There's 18 of them and they're royalty free. And two, if you guys want me to make pages for you like Cymatics and Producer Grind, go ahead and hit me up on the DM over on Instagram at shadow.manifest. If you guys are interested in getting a landing page or a full website build, you guys can go ahead and hit me up. It's just a little side hustle that I have. I figured making this video would help me promote it and it would help a lot of people do it themselves too. Hopefully if I post this video, I'm not like assassinated by like the secret society of gatekeepers. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I guess we'll just have to find out, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Uh, yeah. Peace.